Listing channels like Airbnb and Verbo are great for marketing your property to a huge global audience, but you give up a percentage of your income for this service. You want to have the option of giving potential guests the ability to book directly with you, increasing your revenue or saving your guests money, or both. OwnerRes provides three options to help facilitate direct bookings. An OwnerRes hosted website, which is available as a premium feature. You can see our transparent pricing structure at ownerreservations.com slash pricing. Website widgets. If you have an existing website, you can create HTML-based widgets and embed them in your site. And WordPress plugin. If you built your website on the WordPress platform, you can use the widgets in combination with the WordPress plugin. This video will walk you through the steps of setting up a turnkey website with integrated booking features, such as the OwnerRes hosted shinrent.com shown here. The OwnerRes hosted website pulls some info from the theming section of the branding and legal setting. To access theming, go to settings and click on theming in the branding and legal section. Click on your account theme to open it. Click on the pencil change button to edit or amend your account theme. Here you can edit or add first and last name, business name, phone and URL, upload a logo if you have one, add email address and SMS number if you've opted for this premium feature and links to any social channels you use for your business. Click Save after you've made any changes. Now you can enable your website. To enable a hosted website, go to your profile, choose the billing item, click on the Change Premium Features button, and choose the Enabled Option button next to Hosted Websites. Click Save when you are done. Go to Settings, My Website, and click on Hosted Website to get started. The first screen will prompt you to enter some settings for your site. For name, this is only for your reference. This name will not be displayed. For site title, enter the actual name of your site. For number of properties, select from multiple or single. This controls things that would only be applicable to multiple properties, such as the property list page. In the hosting slash domain section, the owner res system will assign you a test location so you can ignore this field. Then, if you already have a URL for your website, enter it in the live location. For instance, in the example site shared earlier, the URL entered in the live location field would be shinrent.com. If you don't have a URL yet, just leave this empty. For the display, you can choose how your property is shown on a map, add a favicon, and decide if you want to include your account logo on the website. If you've previously added a logo to your account, you can select to use that logo, or you can select use custom logo setting to upload a PNG, GIF, or JPEG up to 500 kilobits. Facebook share image. This is the image which will show in a Facebook post where you've added a link to your website. You have a choice of which image from the website you'd like Facebook to use. Finally, you have options on which properties are displayed on your site and whether you want your default view for editing to be visual, you actually see what the page looks like, we recommend this to get started, or HTML, for those who understand how to edit using HTML code. Click Save when you are done. Next, you can select your header template. For this demo, we'll pick Comic Bands, but you can choose whichever one you'd like. You can click each one to see a preview. Click Save to move on to the next step. Now let's look at theme and layout. Under the Fonts and Colors tab, you can pick Fonts, Text Colors, and Page Background Appearance. We recommend starting with the defaults and seeing how your finished page looks before editing these. Under the footer tab, you can edit the footer that appears at the bottom of all your web pages. The fields Z Courier, My Coful, My Phone, and My Email will automatically pull the current year, your company name, phone number, and email from your account. You can highlight the social links to see where they're currently linked to. If you don't use those particular social channels, you can delete them. You can also add text or images that you may want to add to the footer of all the pages here. The CSS tab will allow you to customize advanced display and layout settings using cascading style sheets. You'll only use these if you have knowledge about editing CSS. Under the head tag, you can add custom HTML code to your pages. Again, unless you know your way around HTML, you most likely won't be editing this section. Click Save and Close when you are done with this section. Next, we'll look at Header Layout. From the drop-down menu, you can select which layout you are using, desktop, tablet, or phone. You can also pick a new template from this menu. Let's take a look at the desktop header layout. Each rectangle you see is an editable section of the header of your website pages. If you click in a rectangle, you can edit each section separately. For instance, in this section, I can delete social channels if I don't use those. Save each section when you're done editing. 
Under the Actions drop-down menu, you can select Change Style and edit the appearance and behaviors of the header. You can also remove an entire line if you don't need it. You can drag to change the order of lines and add additional lines if needed. You're going to want to do this for each layout, desktop, tablet, and phone. Click Save and Close when you're done editing this section. You can click on the Test Location link at any time to preview your site. When you're ready to set up your DNS servers, we have separate videos for setting up DNS servers for GoDaddy, Namecheap, and Google Domains. When you're ready to continue on to the next step on the setup checklist, be sure to watch our video, Direct Bookings, Website Widgets. Thanks for choosing OwnerRes.